with regards to mystic flower yeah um well basically I think indeed it yeah it very likely is the uh, most uh, beautiful um I mean you know like um once upon a wood was beautiful as well but this and a bit beyond that I mean the the uh, ocean the, the the rivers flowed so much they were like uh, they were more alive than oceans then the rivers are normally alive now of course it didn't have much of a narrative I mean yes it was a puzzle game but um, wasn't so much an RPG per se because you know RPGs generally have a narrative so you know it was just purely a puzzle game um, although yeah I guess the puzzle game still relied on words as in the cryptic stuff uh, well, I mean, well, um, the first and last, uh, pretty much were easy, I guess. But um, it's not like the second was it, but wasn't that? Um, in fact, now that I think of it, I guess it had the same amount as the second. Maybe they were both sort of like Rubik's cube cubes. Blue. Anyway, uh, yeah. So they were, but. Um, I don't know when it comes to the last, I guess it was. So, I mean, it was still sort of. Er yeah, the problem with the puzzles is that they were more trial and error than actual figuring out of anything, pretty much. Like, you know, I seriously thought, like, especially the second, the, the fourth one didn't have as very much a anything that implied that there was anything that could be figured out. The second one sort of had, uh, I thought that the tail might, well, it literally said, you know, that there was, you know, one, two, three, so that, that was confusing, but um, ultimately, yeah, it was, done, I don't know, it seemed to be done to trial and error. Um, so that, that's the problem with, with, with the puzzles, they weren't exactly, I mean, uh, uh, to, be, to be honest, you know, I wouldn't know myself uh, what great puzzles are like. The first puzzle reminded me of Alundra, so uh, a lot of Alundra was based on pretty much, you know, getting, um, unless I'm forgetting something, yeah, getting um, um, stones around, yeah. Um, of course, Alundra, so this is the thing, Alundra had, I mean, yeah, it didn't have, you know, graphically it wasn't similar, of course, it was, I mean, yeah. Um, what was it, like a 2000 I think or 99 game so you know yeah, earlier but um it had a narrative so now this had a narrative um certainly if it did it's it could uh, certainly I think rival some of the some mainstream RPGs I mean um just yeah visually the way it looked now i cannot exactly say you know it was eye candy and just that because i mean it wasn't obviously uh, you know eye candy implies that it's not exa it wasn't exactly substantial i mean when it comes to narrative it still uh, it wasn't though i mean yeah, there wasn't much of a narrative i cannot say there was but in terms of the art i mean you know it's all about the art obviously and honestly, it, uh, you know, it's a, uh, it's a um, 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 umbrella. What do you have to say? I mean, it's it's like, um, like um, some classic painting that somehow ended up being animated. I mean, you know, all the classic uh, paintings did, you know, tried to uh, depict waterfalls, but of course they couldn't actually depict them falling. That's the problem with static art. This, of course, it did, but you know, the way it did, yeah, I'm not even sure how it ended up um, appearing like that. 
Like, you know, it's not like it's totally, um, like, you know, uh, unique, as in, you know, um, Final Fantasy X, I remember very clearly, had, indeed, a uh, waterfall at one point, you know, and you could see it and then you go under it and, so, in, in a way, it's, it's more, it, it, it was more, a vast from what I remember so the impression is that it was gigantic and you know it's, uh, well, unless I'm misremembering something I mean it's been a few years now uh, you could go under it though unless I'm misremembering something um, so obviously this didn't apply here but honestly most waterfalls when depicted you know look pretty I guess one could say yeah there was also a um, yeah a waterfall as well. Uh, I think more similar to this than Final Fantasy X was because Final Fantasy X you know go under it and it's much more big and uh, um, well that's pretty much. But yeah, what was more similar similar to was um, Inuyasha uh, the game in on a PS2 specifically. That there was a few others you know. But yeah, the one on the PS2, I forgot what it was called, uh, The Secret of the Mask, I believe. Um, it had a waterfall, and you don't go under it, and it's not as uh, big as Final Fantasy X's either, from what I remember. And so, yeah, it, it sort of seems similar, the way it's depicted as well. So, in, in a way, you know, it, 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 it might seem odd to say uh, that, you know, an Inuyasha game look like it. I mean, you know, for anyone who hasn't played it, it it actually looks much more different than the anime itself uh, the anime sort of looks crude in comparison of the, the second in the game i mean you know it's, it's a typical rpg in, in any other case so you know the storyline is very much uh, pretty much similar if not identical to the anime i mean they all have separate storylines anyway so i mean you know the games have a unique storyline, but you know they they, they all look fairly similar. You know they, they're all about Naraku etc. Uh, but um, the art, though, in that game was some of the best I've seen. Uh, yeah, I mean as I said, uh, the narrative doesn't exactly do it justice. But yeah, honestly, when the art is you know as beautiful, I, I don't really complain too much about the narrative generally because you know it, it just it just is. You know? Like, like I'd hope that you know if uh, indeed something has a really good narrative then you know even if it uses um, stock graphics etc that you know the, 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 the writing could still come through hopefully and just just like it is with you know just books you know without graphics or music uh, you would hope that uh, the writing would come true obviously I and mean, that's the whole point of uh, books of course um, but it would be truly something interesting if indeed uh, uh, it was uh, paired with a really good narrative. It would be, I think, somewhat similar to um, Chrono Cross. And Chrono Cross did have similar similar art, yeah. And the the writing was quite varied. I mean, you know, they had a lot of characters, so you know, some talked in weird accents and such so I mean you know, it wasn't all identical or anything but the narrative was pretty I mean yeah, the narrative you know it was a story you know I personally prefer it over Chrono Trigger um, but um, it was otherwise poetic though so quite poetic so in, in a way the uh, visuals which were also poetic you could say sort of uh, mirror the, the narrative you know? I mean obviously not when they have when, when they have you know where you, they use slang and such that's just them being individuals but when it comes to the general narrative and often sometimes you know it, it, it was it was poetic so you know uh, yeah so otherwise so yeah it's um this this the mystic flower could indeed be something similar um you know because you know graphically and the music as well i mean to say the least you know the music was so calming you know like <laughs> Only thing that was slightly more infuriating was the second puzzle. But uh, anyway, otherwise, you know, it's just a self-contained puzzle game that looks just almost just just luscious almost. I mean, it, it was really 
Uh, nice to look at. I mean, it's, that's understating it, honestly. It's, it's, it, was, it just was. You know, it, if it was paired, oh, that would, uh, yeah, yeah, it would have been. Uh, yeah, it would be. It is. It is pretty good. Yeah.